everyone! Today I'm talking about our fabric of the week, which is our beige basket weave cotton. Um, obviously it's called basket weave, so it does have a basket weave, um, but for anybody who doesn't know what that is, um, it's very similar to a plain weave fabric. Uh, where the fabrics, uh, the fibres, sorry, sort of crisscross over each other, um, but the yarns are much thicker, so they uh, would twist the yarns together, so it makes it a much stronger and, and sturdier fabric. Um, it's very similar to what you might call a canvas, uh, but this is much more lightweight. So as you can see, actually, even when I'm kind of holding it, it's got a much nicer drape to it. Um, which is why I would suggest that these are suitable for more structured garments as well as soft furnishing. So a lot of people think that you, these are only sort of reserved for, you know, bags, which of course you can use them for, but don't be afraid to try them out. I, I've known somebody who's made a great pair of shorts with these. Um, and also pencil skirts are really fun and easy to use and easy to do. Um, one thing about the fabric is because it's not dyed, which is fantastic, I'm all for undyed fabrics, um, it's got a really beautiful stripe on it. So these are all the natural colours of the cotton and just the way that they're woven is sort of a haphazard um, patterning on it. Um, you can easily get rid of that if you want by over dyeing it, but otherwise it's a really beautiful trait of this fabric. Um, it's woven in a fair trade certified cooperative, so that's certified by the WFTO. It's also made using uh, a cotton that hasn't been treated, so it hasn't been uh, fertilised or you had any chemicals on it, um, which essentially makes it organic, but it isn't certified. So just to make that very clear off the bat, this, um, this organisation can't afford the certifications. Uh, so while everything is grown in an organic way, um, we couldn't claim that they were certified organic. Uh, another great uh, trait of this fabric is how lightweight it is and how well it drapes. So that's why I think it's a really nice option to use for a more sort of structured jacket. Um, I wouldn't say it's, well, actually you could make a really nice summer jacket with this. It's kind of got a linen quality to it, so it's very dry fabric to touch. Um, so if you made a jacket with maybe a very lightweight lining or not even lined at all, maybe just using a bias binding um, on all of your facings, you could make something really, really nice and special. All of the creases iron out amazingly well. It washes really, really well. Um, and don't be afraid to use it for soft furnishings because it's very durable uh, and even though it is lightweight that makes it really ideal for things like cushions or headboards. Um, you can even use it for things like table runners so they protect the table uh, from any liquids or excess heat, things like that. Apart from that, um, it's a really beautiful fabric. It's, it has got some slabs because it's all hand woven. So all the yarns are hand spun and also they're hand woven. So you can see there are a few slubs, slubby bits in here. Um, that does make it really, uh, it does give it a really nice characteristic, a character. Um, but it's certainly not a kind of even uh, weave. It's also got speckles in it, which is very uh, characteristic of calicos. So often calicos are made with undyed cotton, which is what this is, which is why you can still, still see some speckles in there. Um, apart from that, we've had really rave reviews about it. No uh, shrinking issues or anything like that. So I really hope you, you like it as much as we do. And if you have any uh, interesting stories about it or you've made something really great, we'd always love to hear about it. So thanks so much. Bye.